All right, man, we talked about this um, yesterday with the uh, in the live stream. We broke down the schedule. If you missed the live stream, it's the last video we did, and I had to put it in the Lions one on one playlist. By the time this video upload, it'll be in the playlist. It was like our 12th or 13th episode of Lions one on one, but we back. Mercy Sports Talk. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And what I was talking about was that the Chicago Beer game week one is a, was a winnable game, and the Lions opened up as one point, one and a half point favorites to beat the Bears week one. I mean, Nick Foles haven't, hasn't had success out of Philadelphia uh, long term, and it just seemed like Philly is just, you know, the swag for him. And Jacksonville and wherever else he went, it just ain't, you know, been it. And Trubisky or Trubumsky is still the quarterback in Chicago, so he'd be battling with Nick Foles. And even if Nick Foles beat out Trubumsky, um, Nick Foles still ain't been able to be healthy anywhere outside of Philly or produce anywhere outside of Philly. But if he is that guy and he can be healthy and he can, you know, be the, the general for the Chicago Bears and he could be a formidable uh, a quarterback for them, then, hey, I can see Chicago making a Super Bowl run. If he can do what he did in Philly, you know, yeah, I think the Chicago is the most talented team from top to bottom in NFC North. And I hate the Bears. I hate the Bears like I hate the Dallas Cowboys. They're the two teams I hate. But one thing that I do on my channel is I keep it 100. Some people respect it. Some people don't respect it. Some people think this is a fanatic channel. I don't run any of my channels from a fanatic standpoint of view. I run them from a realist standpoint of view. If I think the Lions going to win, I'm going to keep it 100 and say they're going to win. If I think they're going to lose, I'm going to keep it 100. And people don't kind of fathom that. They think you're just supposed to be fanboys. And when you're a fanboy, you know, your judgment is clouded. You know what I'm saying? And I can't trust you because you just being a fanatic and you wrong, wrong, wrong again. You just being an optimist. I'm not an optimist as far as how I look at sports. I look at sports like I'm betting my own money. And that's the advice I give you guys. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I think they could beat Chicago. You know, chances of Foles being that guy or Trubisky developing into a quarterback and getting an epiphany uh, and getting it together, to me, is slim to none. But then it just boiled down to protecting Matthew Stafford, being able to run the ball. Special teams, I can't stress that enough. Uh, special teams has, won, has lost us more games than they have won us. And then and Patricia, you know, being able to be different in a defensive uh, front seven and, and even in the back end calling them more zone and more combination zone man and, you know, calling them more, you know, pressures and, and, and disguising the defense is better. It come down to that. But Chicago, that's not an insurmountable win. We play Chicago close with Driscoll and Blog. You know what I'm saying? And Trubisky may still be the quarterback. And we got their old back a quarterback and Chase Daniels. So, like I said before, you know, that's a winnable game. All our division games are winnable. The one team that kind of gave us the most fits is probably Minnesota. Um, but Green Bay, I mean, we should have won there last year. And we could have won week 17. So we played them close. People got this facade that uh, that we just not we just get blew out by the divisional opponents every year. We play them close because we see them every year. We're familiar with Aaron Rodgers. We're familiar with Kirk Cousins. We're familiar with Bum Trisky over there in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? We're familiar with all those dudes. So, it don't surprise me to open up as one and a half point favorites. People saying, oh, they could be 0 4, 1 and 7 in the first eight games. And if that's the case, then uh, Matt Patricia, you know, he should be fired. But we know that op this organization don't run that way. But Chicago is, like I said, they talented from top to bottom. It just is, it's just the question if they can get the quarterback play. And that's the most important position to have. And if, you know, they can, you know, find a way to get David Montgomery running and Tyreek Cohen can be that scat back. I like them in, in long term things. But. You never know when Nick Foles, when he going to go down and, you know, can he be successful outside of that organization? Because, you know, uh, DeFilippo, whatever the coach he had in Jaguars, he came from Philly, you know, and it just didn't work because he couldn't stay healthy. And when he came back, I don't think he truly was healthy last year. So, like I said, winnable game with P P Lions are one point and a half favorite game, uh, at home. I think they're going to be expecting fans to be in the stadiums. You know, they're still selling the Lions season tickets and Season ticket, single season, single game tickets will still go on sale with the refund policy. But I think they expect the fans, and I think football is going to have fans in NCAA and college. I mean, college and NCAA and the NFL. So, like I said, it's a very winnable game. You know what I'm saying? People just, they like to look at the Lions as always trying to find a way to lose the game. And that's kind of how it is. The games that you think won't be competitive, the Lions win them or they're close. Or the games you think the Lions should win, they struggle and win, or they lose them. So it's just the way it boiled down. But I definitely can see them beat Chicago.
just because of the quarterback play ain't there. But, hey, we at home. Let me know what you guys think. I put an article link in the description proving it to be true. The Lions being one and a half favorites to open up the 2020 regular season versus Chicago Bears at Ford Field. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All the information is in the description. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, cash app, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate for me is to share the video and check my other channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, news, and entertainment. That's Goodfellas Sports TV right here on YouTube. We go.